And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe this is going to be enthralling a match in the Dritte Liga. It's Erzgebirge Aue and they take on SV Meppen. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And this confrontation is underway. Pourier. An attack full of promise. Very quick thinking there. Dmitry Nazarov. Good. Sam Schreck. Well, that's been deemed offside, and maybe, Stuart, we could accuse him of being rather greedy. Yeah, that's sloppy play. All he had to do was let the ball run through to his teammate there. And he did well to cut it out. Sam Schreck. Now, who can he play it to? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Marvin Stefaniak. And they need to get tighter here. Can he play it in? Oh, moving it nicely. And the problem not completely solved. Surely! It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Who can he pick out? Body on the line. Corner again. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. It's one corner after another. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted. And well, that's the result.
M line. And space to exploit, maybe. Can they forge ahead? And well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. And the challenge, crisp and clean. And teammates to play it to. Firing it towards goal. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Can he finish? It's got to be. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. And using his strength to shield the ball. Pourier. Mirnez Pepic. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Nazarov. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. That is how to apply the pressure. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They need to get bodies back. It looks promising. Real chance. Nicely blocked. He's given it straight to the opposition. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. It's a weighted pass. Well, it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway here, into the second half. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? And the snuffing out of the cross there. 
Low trajectory ball there. Not all that convincing defensively. How about the cross? Well, good play to stop the ball going in. Time for a change then. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Corner given. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Over it comes. It might still be problematic. Offside the decision. And there to intervene. Will he finish? Well kept out. And they will make the change now. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it still could be dangerous. Wonderful block. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Breaking at pace. Good. There's a slide rule pass. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Marcus Piosek. Pourier. Oh, he's through here. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, let's take another look. And it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Really a very poor ball. Marcus Piosek. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Could be. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance, the defenders unable to stop him. Well, just look at his movement, he knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish, that's a nice goal. This is going to be a thrashing. 3-0 now. Marvin 
Erik Majeczak. This looks interesting. Giving the ball away. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Pourier. Oh, good vision. Strong hand on that one. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. They might be able to get in now. But it comes down to the final five minutes. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And threading it forward. And now they have the ball back. Check. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Oh, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.